Hello everybody, welcome, shoutouts to Blade RS. My name is Jojo Jacobi and I'm the organizer of Winter Clash. Winter Clash is the world's, I don't know, maybe the world's biggest uh, rollerblading competition. At least uh, we have more than 1,000 bladers from 35 different countries traveling uh, to Eindhoven in Holland every year. And I guess it's different than it, more, most other competitions because it's more like a family meeting. It's not really, I mean the competition is important, but it's more about everyone coming from all kind of countries here to Eindhoven to enjoy or celebrate blading for one weekend. We have like really, what for me really special is about the event that we have com countries like Israel or Iran or Syria, like people who have a really hard time coming out of the country and they're coming here to spend a weekend with us. So it's really like the whole, it's like a family reunion or blading's birthday party every year or something like that. But what's also really special about Winter Clash is that we allow people to go on the course after a certain, after a while. Like in the finals, everyone is next to the ramps and the vibes really incomparable to everything I, uh, I've seen so far. So it's more like a party slash blade competition in the end, and everyone celebrating the tricks of the others. I think the team, like we're, we have a core team of 12, 15 people every year, traveling here a week before, and then we do all the ramp branding and preparing whatever the tickets, the guest list, the, the premieres. Like I don't know, it's hard to. It's so much stuff we have to do, but the most part is the ramp building, which is going to be, uh, which is done by the skateboarders of Area 51 every year. When we get here, the ramps are already uh, already prepared, and then we just put them in place. And uh, yeah, put the logos on it of all the sponsors. So it's always really, that's also the most exciting part for me coming here. Like usually I come here three months before the event and then we talk about what's possible, what kind of ramps we want to build, what kind of setups, because we try to, we try to build new ramps every year. Something that no one ever skated before to keep it interesting, keep it fresh and also make people think out of the box when it comes to skating. So for me the most interesting part is to see the ramps in place and see how it looks, maybe skate them myself or if I'm not skating then the others are going to test them out and we see if it works out or not. And then of course the first day, like today, Thursday, everyone is coming in and trying the new ramps so it's always a surprise for everyone what we build this year. So I guess that's for me the most exciting part to see if our ramp planning worked out and if people can use the ramps. If I have time during the event to check it out, it really depends. There are some years where I just watched the live stream sitting in my office watching the live stream from the competition outside because I had to do work on the side. So there were not so nice years, but of course at the final I find time to walk down and be in the crowd and enjoy the whole show. So that's mostly the moment when I have my first beer, Saturday around 4 or 5 o'clock. That's when the stress level is coming down, everything happened, everything is fine. And that's when I mostly get to enjoy the event and that's for me, of course, most important and the uh, best moment of the Winter Clash for sure, to be in the crowd with everyone and enjoy the show. Yeah, and then of course when I watch the edits afterwards, there's so much stuff that I didn't see during the event, so it's always a surprise to watch. So, like, the week after Winter Clash, I basically spent home, sit at home all day long and watch the edits and I'm like, oh shit, that happened, right? It's like, so it's basically for me experiencing Winter Clash on Saturday afternoon, being in the crowd, and then again when I'm back home watching the edits, I'm like, okay. This is what happened, nice. I don't know, there's no favorite obstacle. Every year I try to, or we try to. This year, for example, I met up with Sven Burkhorst and we, I went in the skate park. On the way here I had so many ideas, okay, we could build this and this, and then I went into the skate park, it was empty. And then I stood there and I had no idea about, okay, shit, I don't know what to build or what to do. And then Sven joined me, Sven Burkers, and then we ideas popped up and then we had the ramp design contest. So we took a look on this, on the designs that people sent us and then after a while everything came together. And, and usually never have a favorite obstacle. It's mostly, the most important for me is to have a good diversity of ramps, like something small, something big, something creative, something more technical. And this year I'm really glad that it all worked out, like we have a lot of diverse obstacles, so there's going to be a lot of different tricks. And what I like the most about it is that even people who don't skate that long, maybe some of the juniors, can skate every obstacle. Everyone can skate every obstacle and then from there you can take it to a bigger level if they want to. This year we don't have, we don't have that massive obstacles that only a few people can skate. Basically everyone can skate every obstacle, so that's my favorite part about the ramp. What are the chances that Winter Clash 2017 will take place? 100% uh, it's gonna happen and we're gonna be back in Eindhoven next year. Thanks to the crowdfunding, thanks to you guys for donating and making it happen. Winter Clash will stay alive and uh, 
for sure in 2017 and most probably 18, 19, 20, who knows. Got a few more ideas to run, so I guess we're gonna stay here for a little longer. So hopefully see you in 2017. Thanks for watching.